How to fix Epson Workforce 630 offline. Three quick solutions. Method 1, check printer settings. Step 1, click on the Windows Start button search control panel and open it. Step 2, click on hardware and sound then devices and printers. Step 3, locate your printer right click on it and click on see what's printing. Step 4, click on printer and make sure that use printer offline is not selected. Step 5, right click on your printer again and select properties. Step 6, go to the ports tab and make sure that standard TCP IP port is selected. Step 7, next click on configure port uncheck the SNMP status enabled box and press OK. Step 8, Close the window once done. Method 2, Restart Print Spooler Service. Step 1, click on the Windows Start button and search Command Prompt. Step 2, right-click on the Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. Step 3, click Yes to allow the app to make changes. Step 4, in the command prompt window type in net stop spooler and press enter on your keyboard. Step 5. Once it says the print spooler service was stopped successfully type in del percent system root percent backslash system 32 backslash spool backslash printers asterisk slash q. Step 6. Once you're done running close the window. Step 7. Click on the Windows Start menu again search services and open it. Step 8. Locate Print Spooler right click on it and select properties. Step 9. In the general tab ensure that the startup type is set as automatic. Step 10. Next click on start under service status. Step 11. Once done click on close and close the services window. Method 3, Reinstall Printer Software. Step 1, click on the Windows Start button search control panel and open it. Step 2, locate and click on Devices and Printers. Step 3, right-click on your Epson printer and click on Remove Device. Step 4, click Yes on the prompt to proceed and close the window. Step 5, Right-click on the Windows Start button and select Run. Step 6. Type Printuous 2 in the open field and click OK. Step 7. Go to the Drivers tab in the Print Server Properties window select your Epson driver and click on Remove. Step 8. Select Remove Driver and Driver Package option and click OK. Step 9. Click Yes on the prompt to proceed. Step 10. In the Remove Driver Package window click on Delete then click on OK once done. Step 11. Then click on Close. Step 12. Now, visit the official Epson website then download and install the printer driver. For more such help and information, visit us at www.printertales.com or call us at Plus one eight seven seven four six nine zero two nine seven plus four four eight hundred zero five four eight one five zero.